Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know Jake. This is your weekly update, so make sure you share this on all your platforms and uh, get the word out what's going on. Jake, what do we got going on right now? Right now, I'm taking my thoughts captive. Are you? Yeah, man, your three-week series really um, showed me how my thought life kind of gets out of control. How about your attitude? I'll give you an example. I walked away from this series thinking, you did a great job, but I got to take that thought captive and make it obedient to Christ because you really didn't do a great job. I mean, it's really, it's been, it's, it's, I've been working through this with my whole thought life and stuff. Like, this coffee's great. No, it's really not. You gotta take that thought captive. So, you, think... and, and, it's, and, it's, and it's enhanced my attitude. I don't know if it's made it better. It's enhanced it. Does I'm, that make any sense? I'm not, like, I'm, I'm more... not sure that was really the point of the whole thing. That's what I got out of it. Uh, it was good too. Or was it? I mean, oh, dang it! Take it. Yeah. See, see, oh. you're just it's back and forth. Hey, we got a lot going on right now. I'm telling you, this is one of the busiest weeks we've had in a long time. In fact, when you walk into church on Sunday morning, it's going to look a little different. It, and I'm telling you, I, I know some of you are still watching online and you're and you're staying home, and we understand that and and we get that. But you're going to miss something really cool Sunday morning because when you walk in Sunday morning, our building is already... It's already KidVenture Live. Getting transformed for KidVenture Live. And if you don't know what KidVenture Live is, it's kind of like hey, what... Uh, hey, Bill, we're transitioning into KidVenture Live. Transitioning, that's right, that's right. Uh, if you don't know what KidVenture Live is, it's like old school vacation Bible school. If you grew up in that... Uh, um, church life, that kind of Era. stuff. Uh, it's for our kids, pre-K through fifth grade, and it's we take what we do on Sunday morning and put it on steroids. I'm telling you, it's crazy. And so we're going to be doing a work day that afternoon. We're going to clear out some chairs after the service on yep. Sunday, and then come back at two o'clock and finish trans transitioning transitioning the building uh, to have that ready for Monday night when those kids start showing up at 530 so if you have a pre-k through fifth grader or you know somebody your grandkids are in town get them there Monday night 530 till 8 o'clock that'll happen all week long and then Jake on Friday you, you want to talk about what's happening on Friday Saturday and Sunday of next week compassion the compassion experience you get to walk through and experience what a child living and growing up in a third world country experiences, yeah. how compassion comes in. You'll have an opportunity, only if you want to, to adopt one of these kids, uh, get them an education, mm -hmm. uh, Christian education. Um, a lot of these kids, they come to Christ. I'll never forget the one I walked through a few years ago. The, the girl came to Christ, got an education, ended up getting a master's degree mm -hmm. here in the United States. And uh, some family in the United States that adopted that girl through Compassion International got to walk her through that whole journey. So, but just go through the experience. Take your kids yeah, through yeah. the experience and, and let them see how three-fourths of the world lives yeah we we're talking becky archer was at the church this week and we were talking about the compassion experience all the stuff was shipped into us and she was talking about the kid that they adopted six years ago oh, yeah. and how big they are now and they've been supporting them every time so again you don't have to support anyone you just go do the experience hey and, and also we need some volunteers there's a link on our facebook page um that you can go to our facebook page and you'll see that compassion Click on there and volunteer 30 minutes or an hour of your time, just kind of helping compassion work as volunteers come through. And if you've already done that, thank you for doing that. I know I've heard that some people already have. I was following kind of the links the other day and saw people commenting and that kind of deal. So we appreciate you already signing up on Membership that. Sunday. Woo, woo. Yeah, you got a good class? Membership. You got a good class so far? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Great. It's always a good class. Me and Joe Fields, man. You can't go wrong with me and Joe Fields thought, teaching something. Take that thought, Captain. I'm going to let that one run. You're going to let that one run. Yeah, I see how this works. Uh, so, a lot going on right now. We're going to be... Uh, transitioning there you go bill uh transitioning uh into the school year man that didn't even sound right it's august 11th out. august the 11th first day of school for hawkins is that same for harmony as well i think, I think they all start that week some some day during that week okay uh because our kids go to hawkins if you don't know that and so we keep up with that i think they're all starting that week sports camps all those things are starting to crank up and then we're going to be running into the fall so let me encourage you 
uh, make plans to be here in August on Sundays. It's going to be good. Join us online on Sundays. It, it's going to be fun as, as we kind of move into the fall. Do things. I'm going to do in a series, Jake, uh, not uh, August, but starting in September, called Compliments. What did Jesus compliment? Did Jesus ever compliment anybody? And so I've been looking at that from that challenge in one of our elders meetings, and we're going to look at the things that Jesus complimented people on, and we're going to look at those things in the September and through kind of a few week series of those things that Jesus complimented. Because I think if Jesus complimented somebody, that'd probably be a pretty good thing to uh, emulate in our own journey. So I'm excited about that series. Just kind of a out there September as that's coming August we'll be doing a series on our church uh, it's gonna be good I'm well, telling you that vision you know you I mean we're not like pumping up summit heights we're just talking about oh vision. I am no dude I am because I love summit heights see he may not but I love him I, it, I love my church but man, we're not gonna I'm be we're not gonna be like why, why, do you, why are you doing because this? Why are you down in this thing, man? We're, we're going to be talking about vision and like why we do what we do. The church, Summit Heights. All that other That's stuff. who we are, brother. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Hey, didn't you say that Summit turned 17? Uh, what's, what's 2021 minus 2004? I think that's right. 17? Is that July? So we've already turned 17. We turned 17 on July 16th. That's so cool. That is so cool. Summit, we're so proud of you. We love you, and we do love Summit Heights, and we love getting to serve. And so cannot wait to see you Sunday. Don't forget, it's going to be a cool experience on Sunday morning. So bring somebody with you. Uh, invite somebody with you. If you're watching online, invite somebody to watch with you online and uh, share this on all your platforms. We'll see you Sunday morning, bright and early, 10 a.m. And this Jake. coffee is strong. Isn't it good? Isn't it good? Hey, we love you.